Welcome, this is the AP Physics Workbook Solution. Here we have Unit 2, Dynamics. The section is 2.8, A Relationship Between the Force and Acceleration. Here's the scenario. You could read it for yourself. Here's the representation is on a chart. Here's the mass and here's the acceleration. Part A asks us to plot us the acceleration of the box versus the mass of each box. The acceleration is going to be the y axis. Then of the box versus the mass, the mass is going to be your x axis. Right. Each time you see something as a object of the other object, the first object is always referred to the y axis. The second one is always referred to the x axis. When we plot this, you should understand that it's 2 kilograms is on the x-axis. Then 1.5 is going to be the y-axis. The first point is going to be 2 kilograms comma 115 1 2 3 4 up to to 1.5 this is the point that represents 2 comma 1.5 the second point was 4 comma 0.75 4 comma 0 0.75 is the second dot the third dot is at 5 comma 0 0.6 the fourth point 7 comma 0 0.4 next 12 comma 0 0.3 next 15 comma 0 0.2 Then last eighteen comma fifteen. We meet our first objective, which is part A. Then the second one asks us to Based on the graph you created in part A, identify the correct relationship between the acceleration of the mass, the acceleration and the mass of the object. Fill in the blank. Here are your four types. Which one did our graph match up with? If I draw a line, it should look something like that which looks like the second one as x increases y decreases y is inversely proportioned to x the scenario should say as mass increase in the x direction you will see that the acceleration which is the y is decreasing therefore acceleration is inversely proportioned to the mass Based on this graph on part B, now you're going to graph it so that it would make a line. How would you do that? To make this a line, one of them has to be divided by one or you would actually flip it. Flipping it is in terms of the fraction. So in this case, you can graph acceleration 
versus one over mass. The mass is flipped. It went from the numerator to the denominator, or you could have graphed mass versus acceleration, where it's going to be one divided by the acceleration. What I have here is I got this and I graphed it, but this time I did one divided by the mass. <clears throat> the X column here represents the one divided by the mass. And the Y was the same thing as just the acceleration. Once I graph, this should make a linear line. That is what it means by it to have a linearization and all I'm going to do is draw a line of best fit. When you draw the line of the best fit you want to make sure that you have equal points above the line and the same amount of points above the line as well as below the line. The question here is what is the physical meaning of the slope of the linearization graph suggested in part C? The slope is defined as the change of y over the change of x. Slope is equal to the change in y over the change in x. The change of x in this scenario is the change in the acceleration over the change in the one over the mass. You should notice that when you divide a fraction is the same thing as multiplication. For example, a over one divided by one over m to multiple to divide this fraction, you have to take out the division, it becomes a multiplication. And when you multiply, and when you do that, it flips. So the M goes on top, so it becomes M divided by one. Which should be equal to mass times acceleration. So, so the slope here is equal to acceleration times mass. And we know what this represents. This rep, the slope represents the force. The force can be defined as here, the summation of your forces is equal to the mass times acceleration. Or on the formula sheet on the AP physics test, you will see acceleration is equal to the summation of the forces divided by the mass. This is the definition of force. I provided some notes for you to give you a better understanding on, of what force is. Force is any kind of a push or pull on an object. When you push, you are exerting a force. When a hammer hits a nail, a force is being exerted. That's called contact force. Another type of force is called a non-contact force, like the force of gravity. Nothing is physically touching the object, but this is the definition of force. Okay, there you go.